Good morning. Good morning. All right. Um, let's check out what the weather like. What's the weather like? That's weather. Outside is uh, 50 degrees. Today is 50 degrees. But right now it's 50 degrees. It's going to go up to about 66, which is not too bad. Tomorrow is going to be a little colder. High in the 40, uh, 54. Oh, it's going to get even colder on uh, Thursday. It's going to go down to uh, 46. And it's backing up. All right, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. I can handle that. All right. Um, last time I uh, published the uh, report uh, using query and filter. So I show you how to filter by the uh, lottery name. This one right here. Let's take a look at that. See there, say cash five. It defaults to cash five. All right. I also show you how we can query default this to our previous dates. You see there? So uh, let's go back, see if we can go to October 1st and then run a view report. That's what we did last time. Alright. This time what I want to do is I want to show you how I can group this. I'm gonna leave that there. Um let me show you what I want to do here. I'm going to open up my SQL uh, Server so Management Studio. This is what I have in mind. Um, this database right here. I'm going to. Uh, I want to group by. I want to query the member. All right. I want to query a member. For instance, um, select from a member. I'm gonna alias that SLM <clears throat> in a join uh, ticket. All right, ticket on member. All right, now the ticket also has picks, so we're gonna enjoy uh, in a join the picks. All right, this is a ticket picks on p on p ticket ticket. All right, so let's uh, let's get the uh, columns that we need for the report. We're gonna need, um, oops. We need a member ID, member ID. You know what? I'm gonna, now that I'm thinking, I am going to concatenate this uh, member with the name, first name. That way we can use this as a title. Ah, I don't know why I keep jumping. Ah, member. Last name. S. I'm going to call this member header. That will be the uh, header line. Uh, now we need the ticket. So. I'm going to do ticket ID again. I'm going to do a header line, all right? Ticket um, number, yeah, ticket number. Concatenate that with the uh, date plus ticket ticket. date and then the, and then we're gonna need ball one ball two three four 
five, and there's a power power ball, and then there's a power play, and then there's a cost, and uh, what else? What else is there? Um, price. And there's one more thing is the result. And that's what we want. Let's run this. See if it, it boxes at us. Let's run this. Oh, there's a problem there. Oh, it says something converting something. The date and time. See there? Converting date. So, right here. You cannot, you cannot con uh, concatenate the date and the string together. They're not the same type. Alright, they're not the same type. So what we need to do, um, we need to cast this guy to a date. As a matter of fact, instead of casting, I'm going to format. Date to... And I'm going to use... Uh, month day year see if that works let's take a look that's better month day there you go good right there ticket date so we can add a date in here ticket and then we'll call date right there that way it knows Let's take a look at it again, see if it, what we want. So, ticket, date, date. That looks good right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. You guys can do that yourself. I'm going to give that an alias as ticket title or ticket header. Like so. So, that looks good right there. That's what we want to report on. Alright, so we got a header right here. As a matter of fact, so this memo ID right here, that really not readable I thought I, uh, it should be a number instead there you go that makes more sense so we got a number member number and the name of the member all right that looks good so I'm gonna pop out over here as a matter of fact I'll go ahead and copy this guy select all control C and then go to report builder So uh, we're going to add the data source that we had done in the past. Select that guy. Always test your connection. Good. All right. Now let's uh, add the data set. Uh, you know what? Let's try that again. I'm going to delete this. I forgot to rename that guy. Let's delete that. Yeah. Let's, I forgot to rename that guy. So let's try again. Add. Uh, trying to move fast and you skip things DS yeah don't move fast so we're not gonna test it again we did that one last time that looks better now add the data set again let's do this before we forget we're gonna call it um, about ticket ticket by member RS and then we'll use the embedded ones right there and then the query that we have in the clipboard paste and that should be good uh, you know what I forgot the line there so let's let's add the line there there should be a line number here you see there we need the line number in front of that guy for example let me see uh, again there's a line there, you see there? That's a line there. See there? So let's add a line there. I don't see a line, that's why there. So let's come over here, right in front of ball one. P line. Alright. Uh let's see if we if we align up, no line. Let's try that again. There should be a line. 
There's a lot. Let's refresh field. Huh. By this guy again here. Let's come back over here. Copy. Yeah, you just gonna have to. Uh, you know, you're gonna have to deal with all the stuff that you're dealt with. That should be good. There you go. We got the line. All right, let's start building this guy up. Um, building this uh, report by group here. I found it the easiest way to do it is to to do the details and then working out outward. Meaning, what is your final result? If your final result is to see the ticket picks, you report on that first. And that's how I found it useful. And then working outwards, all right? Although we have a, like an over um, view of what it looks like, but the real real reason to re, uh, do the report is to see this uh, list of ticket no, ticket picks. So I'm gonna start inside and then go by a ticket and then go by a member, all right? So let me show you how I, I would do this. I'm going to insert table. All right. There. I'm going to add the line first. All right. This this is this is the detail here. All right. This is the detail. So work on the details and then work outward. Outward. And it will make more sense because it's easier than going upward and downward. All right, out and in. I guess I, I could say that out and in. We want to work on the in to out. All right. So that is the innermost detail record. Let's take a look. That's what we want to see. That list. Now we want to add a ticket on the top of this guy, All right? So to do that, just click anywhere on the inside here. You see this little dotted uh, uh, three little lines right here. That means detail. All right. So we're gonna click on the whole line and add group. Uh, add group on ticket. On ticket. All right. Now we want to sum the cost and the price for this ticket as well, right? That way, for example, if you have five tickets, you see to sum up the uh, uh, five tickets here. So let's add the header and the footer, all right? There, the header and the footer, all right? So let's take a look. Let's take a look. Now if uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna leave the ticket ID there for now. You see that this ticket right here has this guys right here. All right, they're not sorted. They're not sorted. We'll work on the sorting later. All right. Um, wonder if we can do the sort now. Let's do row property. Uh, no, that's not where you do it. That's where I'm gonna. Is it? Is it on the detail row property? Nope. Nope. Huh. Row group. Oh, row group. Let's see a row group. I wonder if we could add a sort. On the line. See what that looks like. No, we're still not doing it. Okay, well anyways, we'll worry about that later. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go ahead and remove that sort. All right, row group property. I'm gonna remove that sort. Uh, I'm gonna select that, remove that. All right, the next one we want to do is the the member. 
all right so let's click on the real top here if you notice there is a top right here all right that's a top if you see this little line right here long like a bracket line on outside of this detail here you click on top of that guy and insert the group all right um we want the header we also want a footer for example we got five tickets all right we want some uh total for all five tickets this one some total for each ticket all right so uh, let's do a group uh, footer just like that now that looks good right there all right so let's take a look at it again before we start formatting good so we got a member we got a ticket and we got the details all right uh, there's one thing that I noticed here you see this line right here it's right there uh, uh, but we won't if if we move this guy over here then we don't have the header so let's add the header for the line for the detail line so to do that I'm just gonna come into the second header here or the uh, second group which is a ticket group right click on there insert row uh, okay hold oh, your horses so okay so that's not gonna work what needs to happen here let me undo this guy let me undo the undo the uh, member group first because what needs to happen here you see there it's easier to go inside out than the outside in you since you see how I had to uh, back out from the member ID so now we can do inside group above see there now we can add this guy down here all right I'll show you in a minute what I mean but now that we do that let's go ahead and add the member back to there so that what we had okay now before I delete this guy what I want to do here look I want to add I want to copy all this guy right here copy and paste and that's why uh, if you notice when we did it we when when we viewed the report earlier there was no line here we didn't have this line right here now we do now we do and we can we can just go ahead and do this uh, delete and then let's take a look see that now we have a line right here my goal is to merge this cell and move this header to here and merge this cell move the header of the member to here all right so let's take a look at what how I'm gonna do that uh, we also need to sum this guy right here okay so let's do the sum before we continue so let's sum this guy and sum this guy uh, price um, what else do I need to do here before we continue oh we want to merge this guy see how it's add totals right there uh, do -do 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 -do. let's see okay yeah so we got to sum the total of all member right here and this is the total for the ticket so what I want to do here uh, I'm going to yeah I don't want to get too close you know what I'm gonna see if I can merge these guys merge and I'm gonna type in ticket total ticket total and then I want to merge the bottom here as well um, yeah merge that guy let's call member total all right and now I'm going to write align that guy and see this right here I'm going to take that out 
Uh, I also want to merge this guy. I don't know how long that guy is, but I'm going to merge that guy. I also want to merge this guy, the top one. Now you notice, if I select right here, I cannot merge those two guys. You see that there's no merge here. The reason being is because that is what it knows uh, as a group header, all right, or the parent group. And the parent group, you cannot merge the parent group. So, but you can merge on the detail group. You see that that's a detail group right here. So you can merge this guy. That's the reason why you are able to merge the detail group, but not the header. All right, now we're gonna add member header. And then down here, we're gonna add ticket header. Uh, ah, wrong place. You know what, let's do that. Let's continue merging this guy. There, now, ticket header, there. All right, so that looks good right there. Let's take a look and see what this guy looks like. I'm gonna move this guy up there. This should look pretty nifty. So that looks pretty good. That's what we want. So you see how the member totals on the bottom here, it says 45. Well, you add 15, 15, 15 together, that's 45 right there. Right, so that looks exactly what we want. That looks exactly what we want. Now, what we want to do is remove these two two head two lines right here, two columns right here, and then start dressing things up. All right, let's do it. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to remove this guy, bro. And now let's dress this guy up. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with. I am going to go with, have no idea what I'm going with here. There. What about... How about circle? Um, I like this guy right here. How about that right there, like a navy type. And then we're going to add um white and we're gonna bow this guy up with maybe 14 and then uh, uh let's see if select that well um i want the uh well, you know what, let's go down to uh, 12. Like so. I like why this guy right here. That guy right there. Um, as a matter of fact, you know what, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to go merge all of them. That way we don't see the, don't see the boxes. Alright. And then I'm gonna make this guy big. Uh, what else? And this right here. I want this guy to be light, dark. And I'm gonna merge these guys right here. All right. We'll rewrite that. I'm gonna merge these guys right here so we don't see the, the box. All right, so I'm gonna start typing ticket total. And then member totals. All right, so let's uh, select that and line right so that looks good and maybe you know what maybe just maybe both these guys like so let's take a look that looks good right there you see that we got this guy see the height header and we got member total
ticket totals. <clears throat> that is pretty good. I like that. What is it? What do you think? Now, one thing I noticed right here: power play and ticket. Power play is just true or false. All right, and price is the um, dollar sign, and the cost is dollar sign. Let's format that a little bit more. Uh, we know this guy is currency. We also know this guy is currency. All right, now this guy right here. Power play is true or false. It should be yes or no. So um, we're gonna fix that in here in the data set right here. Um, power play right here. So uh, let me show you. I like coming back here. It's easier if I do it in here instead of out there. You know that way I know what is happening <laughs> so we got it next tell us in here we'll say if uh, the expression equals one then it's true yes else no and parenthesis as power Play. All right, let's take a look. See there? Yes. No. You see that? So let's do that. I'm gonna copy just that booger right there, right about there, because I've got P something there. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm looking for P something here. You see there? There, S, a name. And that looks good right there refresh and let's run the report we should see yes and no yes 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 there's some notes in here no well there's some notes in here I know there you go <laughs> there's some note all right let's uh let's center these numbers and line I think that makes more sense now now that we have some stuff so it's looking pretty good well, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let's uh, let's go back. Let's go back. We are going to uh, align these guys right here, except the cost and the price. So what I want to do here, I want to select that guy right to about there, centered. I also want to center this header, and the results fine there all right let's take a look one more time hopefully it's one more time that looks a whole lot better now all right so when you click out there we can see this uh member here for this ticket dated these are what he uh these are his tickets right here all right now we're gonna well, I, was, I said I was going to show you to order these guys. So let's order them line number. But that's, that doesn't look right. It's looking a whole lot better now. Getting towards to, uh, to the final here. Uh, I'm still wondering if I could uh, go to a row here. I want to be able to add sorting here you know what I'm saying so the first sort is uh, member member header I should be able to do that and then add new one on the line okay. all right so let's take a look no, it didn't sort for us. It did not sort for us. Hmm. It did the top one, but not the inside one. So let's uh, let's go back. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the row group here, and then take the uh, take this guy out. 
because he didn't do that. I want that the inside here works. So let's go to row group property. Oh, hold on, before we do that, I want to see how about select the detail row group property. See if it works on there. Should it work on here? Because it's detail, it should. All right, it should. So the detail here, we'll select the final one. We start from the top. That didn't work. That didn't work. That I was wondering, you know, being the top most header uh, group, it should just, you know, encompass all these guys in here. Evidently it's not. So we're going to select the detail and then, uh, and, uh, and take a look. The details work. You see there? All right, so that's what we want. So make sure you go right in onto the detail and then and then select the uh, row group. All right, now we're going to uh, group by row group. Now that we know, we're going to go sort, add. This one is ticket header. All right. And then we're going to go back to the member. I think we did this one. The topmost group. Yep, member header. All right, so that's good. That's good. Now let's take a look at one more time. That looks good. Oh, you know what? Right down here. Right down here. That should be a, that should be a currency as well. So let's go back and uh, format this currency and let, what else what else do we need to do here it looks like uh, it's, it looks like it's pretty good there all right so let's uh, let's go back there what we want is to highlight these four columns here oops I'm gonna select that and then make that a currency like so that should be good that should be good and let's move this uh, timestamp here all the way to the right there and we're going to add print it on if I know how to spell print it on there that is good um, what about pagination all right because right now it lists everybody all right it lists everybody what if you have the luxury to uh, to do uh, um, pagination or or add the uh, parameters or add the parameters to select to select the uh, what to view, which tickets to view. We can do that, you know that. We can do that. Um, but I'm gonna show you that later, all right? We're gonna do, I'm gonna show you a pagination, like you can add, you know, showing, showing per, per member. Right now it includes all members, all right? So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to filter out and show you how to paginate not page name, uh, break, uh, page break, meaning we only show uh, tickets for each member instead of list all members here, you see there. Uh, so we may not want to see all the members tickets. We just want to see a particular member ticket. You, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, yeah. So that's what, uh, that's what I'll do next time, all right? For this one, before we uh, finalize, I wanna save this guide. That way I can come back and show you what we can do next. Let's go save this guy. Save as. Um, we're gonna save on the report. Web Porter. So let's call this guy. Um, how about tickets by members? Tickets by member oh my bad <laughs> oh yeah that's right tickets by members yep 
And then we also want to save this guy. Save as. To the computer. Right there. Same name. Alright. And let's go to right here and back out and refresh we should see a new report we, we just built all right right here tickets by member let's take a look at that there you go that looks pretty nifty so this uh this person right here janton that's three tickets see there one one two three and those tickets total 45 uh, each ticket has five picks and five picks cost fifteen dollars um what i you know what you know what there's something there we don't know if this ticket is power, powerball or power, uh, what type of ticket this is. Alright, and that's that. So, next time I'm going to show you how to uh, query this or filter this or add parameters. Maybe do some more tweakings on this. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a good day.